everyone. Good evening. At this is a very cool day. Nakakapanibago. <laughs> Pag-isig ko, hindi ako nalalike it. But, that's alright. Kasi mas maganda yun. Medyo fresh tayo ngayon. <laughs> so, hello again. Good evening. So, tonight, I have a new a new thought that I want to share with you. And probably, this is something that there are people who will need to hear this. And pwede nyo i-share sa kanila yan. <laughs> Hindi po tayo dito nakikipag-away at wala rin po akong pinapatamaan. But this is something that we should hear from time to time. Kailangan nila ito ng reminders. So, before anything else, I am Coach Joriel. I am a certified professional life coach. Certified under CACC Life Coach Program. Life Coaching Program. From Life Coach Philippines, I am also a certified martial arts instructor. And I'm a marine engineer by profession. But now I am helping people navigate through life and love through coaching classes and services that include responsible online dating. And I'm also a scholar of Master Coach A of for public speaking. And this episode includes another play on words, which is Asin Deton. But tonight's episode is related to our lesson last night as well. So, the topic would be the shackles of your perceived reality. So, sabi na lang, reality is relative. And most people will argue that there is no objective reality that we can truly be uh, compared from. Kasi nag talaga. There is no there is no solid or there is no definite reference where we can say that ito talaga yun. But our reality is relative to our perception and to our environment. There's a lot of things that will affect our reality and sometimes what we make of reality also makes something out of us. And sometimes the the result is not always so good. Yeah. Then we start to train ourselves in that reality. Kung ano'y pinili natin, kinakadena natin yun. And that's one of the reasons, that is one of the reasons why we don't move forward. It's one of the reasons of us being stuck in our own place and that's the reason why we don't move at all. So yan. So, I'll just share with you two mentalities that shackle us to our perceived reality. Diba? So, the first mentality is pointing fingers. Yan. So, nga ba pointing fingers? Pointing fingers is, well, alam nyo naman, pointing fingers is when someone commits a mistake. Then, someone commits a mistake, finds another person, to dump the mistake in and become noisy. Siya, siya may kasalanan. So, pointing fingers is one manifestation of you not taking responsibility of your actions. And this is one of the things that I really hate when it comes to when it comes to the workplace or anywhere in particular. Pointing fingers. If, if you commit a mistake or kung nagkamali ka, of course, have the balls. Have the balls to to say that you committed a mistake and own it. Diba? Instead of pointing fingers and instead of pointing fingers, putting the blame, dumping the blame on someone else and being noisy about it, own it. Diba? You never know that if you point your finger, your finger might get broken. <laughs> that is an occasion that uh, I have witnessed before that someone pointed the finger at someone else and they did not know that that person was actually monitoring everything. And when it came down to it, it backfired. Hindi ka nakatulong. Wala ka nang itinulong, di ba? sakta mo pa yung sarili mo. So, it's it's a losing hand dealt by life for you. 
well, another another example of the mentality that shackles you to your perceived reality is that sense of entitlement. Ito mas malakas ang pagkakadena nito eh. The, the reality changes around you. So, pointing fingers kasi, yung reality mo, everything, ano, everything, everything that happens to you is someone else's fault. Yun yung mentality na yun. And that's why you are chained there. The second, the sense of en- entitlement is much worse because when people feel entitled, hindi na sila nagkakamali. They feel that they are always right and they feel that they all that they are always right. The world owes them and everybody owes them something. And the the world is revolving around them. Mas matindi to. Diba? They don't know that they are actually chained. Ito yung mahirap eh. Entitled sila na because of I can't really point exactly yung sense of entitlement nila may stem from they experience a lot of trauma before and they feel that it's the world's turn na oh, nilugmok mo na ako eh iangat mo naman ako karapatan ko naman yun I, I know that you are starting to think na meron kayo naaalala mga tao and sometimes you also remember yourself doing that. I was entitled for some time. Nagkaroon din ako ng face niya na, Aba, nangyari na sa akin. O, ba dapat meron namang maganda mangyari sa akin? Afterwards. Did it happen? Wala. Walang nangyari maganda sa akin afterwards. I was just faced with reality, with the real reality of my situation and Ang sakit. So, yung sense of entitlement, how does it shackle you down? You don't know that you are being shackled. And it's very heavy. And by the time that you come into terms with it, yun yung pinakamasakit kasi it will all just fall down to you. Malalaglagan ka na lang at wala kang kaalam-alam. Magugulat ka na lang na sa tingin mo yung buong mundo eh, may may utang sa'yo where in fact ikaw ang may utang ikaw pala ang hindi nag-ambag so masakit it's a rude awakening <laughs> but there is still but there is still cure di naman, yes there is still a cure for that the cure for that if you ever have an epiphany for of change na marirealize mo na if everything is happening to me and it's always like this. It's not, it's not the world around me. It's probably me. That's the start of you taking responsibility. Reality sucks. Reality bites. But reality does not discriminate. Lahat tayo tinatamaan. So, that epiphany of change when that moment came to me. Because I was pointing fingers sa uh, kasalanan ng ibang tao. Tapos, wala naman akong ginagawang masama. I did not see that I was also doing the same thing that I hated. When I realized that, baka ako yung may mali. Masakit? <laughs> baka ako yung mali. So, there, I started taking responsibility for my actions. Little by little, di naman kailangan lahat ang kagay. So, the moment that I started realizing that I was my own, I was my own jailer, I was chaining myself to those realities, it started to change. It started to change, but the change can only go so much unless you are embracing it. So you have to embrace that epiphany of change. Nababaguhin mo that you know that you are not anymore the problem, that you were the problem before and now that you want to become the solution. To solve a problem, you have to, rec- you have to recognize your share of responsibility. If you only blame the others, you will never solve it. So, I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you feel that you are blaming others, or if you feel that others are conspiring against you, you have to check. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You might be the problem, and others are just reacting around you. 
So if you needed to hear this, this is one of the heavier truths that we will be dropping this week. So yeah. So just just uh, introspect. Pagisipan nyo that you might be the problem. But after realizing that, that you can become the solution. That you can unchain yourself from your perceived reality and you will get better. Definitely. This is where it starts. So, yeah, I hope you have learned something. And if you have trouble, if you have any troubles having that kind of realizations, we are here. Kontakin nyo ako, PM me. And I'll be more than willing to listen to you and help you reach and help you reach that phase where you think that you are the solution or you you can become the solution so i'm always on the road to post one meaningful content a day and i hope that you have learned something from this and if you are curious about life coaching you want to experience the magic of life coaching or you want to be certified as a life coach as well do contact us at Life Coach Philippines at 0917-586-1661. That is through Coach Rizal at 0917-586-1661. So if you have any comments, suggestions, violent reactions, do let me know para mapaunlakan natin yan. And I hope that you stay cool, dry, hydrated, healthy, and safe as always. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Peace out.